Hey, what's up everybody? So it is a shake day. I know everyone is excited as we continue through our 11 day super shred. So obviously I'm pretty sure everyone on here knows how to make an isoline shake, right? We've got a lot of different examples. We have all the tools and videos. So I thought I would just show you one of my favorite things to do from time to time is to make an isogenic shake smoothie bowl. I have kind of gotten hooked on these after I started following Kelly Dickerhoff. So follow, follow Kelly Dickerhoff on Instagram. She is like the smoothie bowl queen, but she showed me a couple tips that really kind of helped me perfect my smoothie bowl. So first thing is deciding what shake you're gonna use. We've got Isolate Pro, we've got the whole blend of the uh, banana bread, and then we have birthday cake. I'm probably gonna go with birthday cake. One of the secrets to making this smoothie bowl is not having too much water. And it seems that a half a cup of water is key. If you have too much water, you're not going to be able to do this correctly. And then figuring out the ice. In a perfect world, um, we were traveling one time and we were using an ice machine and they had those little half moon ice shapes, you know. Those are the best because you know you need 8 to 10 to get the right consistency but I don't have that here so I've got these other little ice cubes so I kind of have to guess and I might put anywhere from I don't know 15 of these in there and yeah, let's see we'll go with one two three four we'll go with that and see how that works and you want to blend it for about two uh, I think two minutes right around there more or less is kind of is kind of the case so let's let's get the smoothie bowl set up correctly so we're gonna Get a couple of uh, scoops of birthday cake in there. And I think we have enough ice. We're gonna put one more in there. And we're gonna blend it up and let's see what happens. All right, so we blended it up about two and probably two and a half minutes, but look what we got. It's like almost having ice cream, you know? And it can, I tell you, the ice really does matter. If you have a different type of ice, it actually will make it even creamier and smooth. So what you can do is now, you can decide what you want to put on top. I love to use the Pro Granola, and then I also use the Protein Honey and Oats Granola as well. So we're gonna just put a little bit on one side. Yep, like that. That's a little bit. And then we'll put some on the other side. Not adding too many calories. You gotta be careful about the calories, so you go with that. You do something like that. So you could use berries, any type of berries, but there's your smoothie bowl. It's like having ice cream. Mmm.